What's going on lads, it is the Midnight Kid here and welcome to my PES 2017 Complete Defensive Tutorial and obviously I do one of these every year and this year myself and Sep are going to be doing the attacking and defending one so check out Sep's if you haven't already to get all the attacking options and the attacking tutorial and this is as I said the Complete Defensive Tutorial so we're going to be looking at a couple of things first off just I suppose as a disclaimer all of these clips were on Superstar with the other team, you know my opponent team starting with the best form possible so we're going to start with the tactics now obviously obviously the tactics were locked in the demo but you just it is important I mean obviously look there is a couple of things that you need to know obviously uh, Sep will be covering this in the attacking instructions and the attacking tactics that he's doing in his attacking tutorial but just to give a, a look of it because a good attack and a good defense need to go hand in hand but for Germany here you can see obviously be able to change these in the demo so we can go into them in more detail obviously in the full game sorry but it's just about looking at two most important ones I think are defensive styles and pressure they're probably the two most important the defensive line is very easily managed I mean obviously you can put it as deep back as you want I mean the higher the level obviously the further up the pitch your center halves and that will push compactness as well can be kind of overruled by swarm the box advanced tactics uh, which we'll get into in a second right here and obviously for Germany and France, I mean, there was a couple of them locked, but the tight marking, uh, deep defensive line, we'll talk about those. But again, it's just about choosing. I mean, I can't really tell you which ones work. I know it works for me. I know it works against other people that are going to be playing. Um, but for PES 17, it's kind of ripped up a lot of people's tactics and stuff. So you need to, I suppose you just need to, you know... Uh, do a couple of uh, tests with it and test it out and see what works for you so as I said here swarm the box and deep defensive line they kind of counter any like hard set defensive tactics that you have with your deep defensive line in the actual advanced tactics it does overrule it so we're going to have a look here at the defense one and at the defense two we're just going to put them on just for the sake of this video because there is a couple of clips in it that i want to go through quite well and i'm also going to take a look at man marking and as i said lads this is you know what you need to be doing per game it's not a one for all kind of fit uh you need to kind of adapt and adjust it every game and you'll see that in this second game I'm going to have showcased today, it's going to be Atletico versus Arsenal. And I'm going to use the fluid formation and I'm going to use the tactics extremely, extremely well. Just to kind of tighten up, play like Atletico. We're going to take it as if Atletico have a one goal lead to get through to the Champions League final against Arsenal. And that is how they would set up, you know. So it's just about re replicating what works best per team in those positions like real life. But also what works best for you as well. So as you can see here, we're going to go for Swarm box and deep defensive line in our two defense advanced tactics and we've got wing rotation which will mean that Koki and Carrasco are kind of switching now we're also going to man mark um, Giroud with probably our fastest player because obviously he'll be able to cover you know a lot more distance but I'm also man marking loads of players here Thiago's on Ozil and as I said like this is only just kind of like a walkthrough of what to do per team because you look at the danger men against playing against Barcelona and stuff you want to be high pressing up on the full backs to stop them bombard bombarding forward you want to be kind of keeping Keeping it tight, keeping it like really, really nice in the center circle, which we'll get to. But this tutorial is mainly going to be uh, for one or two like really good tips that a lot of people don't use, including starting here with Emre Can. Now, Emre Can is an anchor man. Obviously, this is really important if you're going to be playing him defensive mid because he'll need to sit back and you'll see it. I mean, a lot of people don't see a lot of the stuff going on in PES, but I'll show you exactly what this role will be in this game. And there's a couple of rules, there's two or three really important rules in this and mostly I mean this is like look you can set up your team as much as you want as best as you want you can spend hours tweaking your defensive formations pushing people into different formations and positions but on the pitch is where you know I would say 75 to 80 percent of the action happens because if you are a good player you can you can kind of beat a lot of guys that like go into the tactics and stuff or at least put it up to them without putting as much you know time into it and just actually learning to master the game so I've talked about Emre Can in this just before this episode started or just before this match started I should say and this is the role of the CDM now we're going to go there's a lot going on here we've got arrows you can see that I've got his left my left back Hector is in a really strong position my two center halves are really strong as well I've got a semicircle or a little circle around who's going to eventually win the ball it's going to be Emre Can I'm not controlling him it's the computer kicking in with the advanced AI this year which is fantastic and eventually the ball breaks down to Emre Can he's after going the whole way back now watch his movement right he knows that as an anchorman, he wants to get behind Drew. 
he wants to get back into the position where the ball, the furthest player up on the pitch, he wants to get in front of him and he wants to actually stop him from getting the ball into an axis area, which is basically he's going to run off. Because Giroud isn't going to run the pitch like Griezmann, you know. So from here again, we're going to take another look. Draxler gets the ball out here. It's a nice little shot. But again, it's all about the counter-attack. How are you set for the counter-attack? Are you going to be, you know, are you actually going to be caught on the counter if you are in trouble or they catch you on the fast break? And look where Hummels is. Look where Neuer is. Look where Bolting in. Perfectly set. Look right in the circle. Now, I'm going to talk about this circle in a minute. I'm going to get into it in a second because it's probably the most important rule in uh, Pez 2017 and that is to have a really enclosed circle in the middle of the pitch and tight centre halves which is rule number two if any ball comes down here and as you will see I'm just so set here with Germany Emre Can comes in now we're going to have a look at detail or in detail at this as well look where Emre Can, in, Can is again Giroud is the hardest push forward player for France but the middle circle rule is probably my most important one it's what the one I usually use um, the most online it's what I use when I'm playing a lot of people that really like to you know pressure or whatever the slide tackle here look I mean you can take or leave slide tackle it's not a massive rule it's more a tip to be honest of how to kind of counter and stuff but watch Emmer can he does not enter the other circle it's a semicircle. It's split in half, obviously. He does not leave that semicircle when the ball, when he doesn't have the ball. Then he goes in when he's going to put the pressure on. And you either have to decide, are you going to make a decision to tackle or are you going to stand back off? And as I always say, rule number four, only slide to break up the play or to hit opponents on the counter-attack. So I decide, look, I'm going to hit him on the counter-attack. I think they're a bit weak at the back. They're scrambling all over the place. The gap opens up for Ozil and also puts it in the back of the net. So again, as I said, lads, the semicircle rule. If your CDM is not in the semicircle rule 90% of the game, then when you don't have the ball, when you're out of possession, then you really do have a problem with your tactics somewhere or you just don't have a good enough CDM. Emre Can is a beast in the demo, so he's been my man to go to when I'm trying to play. Again, this is number five rule, but again... It's like, as I said, it's fairly self-explanatory. In Pez 2016, you could just plow the ball forward. They'd, you know, they'd instantly take it off you. Um, they'd instantly take it off their foot and they'd be true on goal. But in Pez 17, it's so important to stand off long true balls. Because no matter who you are, if you're Paya, you're Messi, Neymar, it is tweaked and toned down. And this is, again, just a little reminder of that I'm not talking absolute shite. Look again at the semicircle rule. I've got a corner here. I'm on the break. Um, again, you know what I mean? And it's not going to be an open access area for him to get into. Again, look at Emre Can. He's in those little circles. He's still in those circles. Now he goes back out. Now I'm manually controlling him. Look at my position in there. Look at my position in with Can. And then Boateng can get in and make the strong tackle. And if he misses that tackle, it doesn't make a difference because Can is back there. And again, it's just nicely and calmly taken out. Look, Boateng makes the tackle. Again, this isn't really a rule. It's just kind of a showcase that you need to put into strong tackles every now and again. As I said, only slide when you you know when it's totally necessary to do so again this is another massively important rule for online when it comes and especially for playing against your friends and stuff never ever allow open overlays now if i'm playing you i will look 90 percent of the time to play the wings and if i get you know an opening on the, on the wings maybe two or three attacks i'm going to absolutely destroy you on the wings as much as i can because the crosses this time in the game the cuts ins it's a really wing it's a wing game to be honest it's out on the wide it's uh it's a winger's paradise really pez 2017 if you like playing that way again hector i'm just hugging the touchline there the overlap is on and then i decide look i'm gonna have to step out i'm fairly set inside it doesn't matter if i make or miss the challenge and i'm just gonna pin get him on the counter attack take the ball from his foot it's a heavy touch from sagna and it's a crunching tackle from Hector who goes absolutely through him and again I'm on the counter attack again lads these are just a couple of scenarios not so much rules it's just another example of the overlap when it goes wrong Griezmann gets into a really good position I get sucked in with Hector and look I'm still set in the middle I've got like two four six eight nine players and Neuer to deal with this I come back out but again that overlap should have never happened he should have like literally just passed it back to Sagna there held it up for maybe Pogba to come in for a Pog boom um but again the ball goes back in it's looking for Giroud and it's easily dealt with those will be dealt with all the time again look at the semicircle rule I'm going back the whole way here with Emre Can 
Giroud has got no chance of getting this ball into his feet and if he does he's not going to do anything with it they can't pass it to him they can't pass it to him at all again another little tip man on the line for free kicks you'd be amazed at how many people don't do this that play the game a lot and also for the newcomers watching this trying to get better at defending and stuff for PES 17 just keep a man on the box you know it doesn't work all the time you won't need it all the time and sometimes really nice free kick takers can actually you know make your man on the line obsolete but again it's just another little tip to have I'm not a massive fan of manual goalkeeping I know that Sepp is and as I said you can check out his attacking tutorial where he talks about a lot of stuff with attacking and stuff I'm doing obviously the defensive one again this is a massively important rule as well but it's more a tip is that to control the defensive line you can see that I'm fairly set here and take this black line that I've inserted here as a video overlay as where they need to be when I see them that they're there that's great now I can chase the ball look you can see there that I'm getting the ball out Hummels comes in with a little cruncher and Griezmann goes to the ground again this is the second match that I talked about Arsenal versus Atletico you've already seen my match set up you've seen my tactics set up you can see a very similar tackle there that I made with Boateng. You can just see another couple of tackles here as well from long balls standing off the player. Look how far away I am with one friend off Alexis Sanchez. And Sanchez thinks he has a bit of time with the ball and then you go in and zip him. Again, here's with Neymar. They're trying to attack me down the wing. This is another gameplay. It's a third showcase. And again, the tactics aren't really important here. It's more showing you how to just get in front of people and just as I said if you are caught in the overlap just make sure that if your players are out of position that they you know that they alter their course that they're on you know don't let them do whatever that they want especially if they get into a good attacking area make it unpleasant for them this is another important one and it's something that I'm going to delve into a little bit more when the game comes out I get very lucky here but you have to pick the right defense you just have to set up your defence as best that you can. So you've got mixed man to mar man to man and zonal. You have to set your defence correctly. That is probably the most important rule on set plays, such as free kicks, such as setting your defence correctly, having a man on the line. And for this in the corners, you can see here that I'm playing man marking in really tight. Barcelona get a bit of a lucky break. Mertesacker misses the header. And again, my defence just wasn't set. And Messi ties up the game. So lads, that is it for the complete defensive tutorial from myself, the Midnight Kid. Check out Sepp's complete attacking tutorial. We'll be back with another couple of episodes in this series when we team up, me and Sepp, and we get down to the basics and the advanced instructions for tactics for everything when the real game comes out so lads if you liked this video please do share it get the word across for a lot of newcomers coming that there's a lot of good defensive tips in this I guarantee you if you actually master even four or five of these rules I guarantee you that you'll you'll definitely stop conceding as many goals if you are struggling and if you're not struggling to concede goals then these will just make you an absolute beast player for when Pez my club comes out so lads I've been the Minnow Kid don't forget to like favourite and subscribe and share if you enjoyed this video get the word out there peace